in this video we are going to see what are the major power power stages occurs in a dc generator and we will see the efficiency of dc generator and based on this we can do a problem okay and before going to study about the power stages in dc generator we must aware about the losses in dc generators already we discussed about the major losses in dc generators in detail in the previous lessons so you can check check it and then i can continue with this video okay so we know that a dc generator that will convert mechanical energy into electrical energy at the output we will not get the entire input as the output due to the presence or the occurrence of different types of losses okay already we discussed about that losses so here the based on the losses the power stages can be divided into three that can be a b and c okay for find out the power stages we can use this circuit diagram and below the circuit diagram you can see a power flow diagram so the first stage we are giving a mechanical input to the prime over of the so we are giving mechanical input to the rotating part of the dc generator and the mechanical input is given by the prime over the output of the prime over is coupled to the rotating part of the machine so whenever we are we give the mechanical power to the rotor it will get rotates and due to the rotation some mechanical losses will occur in the rotating parts of the machine that is friction and windage losses this friction and windage losses collectively we can call it as mechanical losses in the dc in dc generators in addition to this we know that when the rotor rotates it will cut the magnetic field and then iron losses or no load losses will occur there this iron losses includes both hysteresis and eddy current losses so when the motor rotates that will lead to the generation of electrical power in the armature and at that stage conversion of mechanical input to the generation of electrical energy at the generator and this stage these losses will occurs in the machine mechanical losses and iron losses okay in this diagram you can see here we are giving mechanical input or the output of the primer is connected to the rotating part of the armature and due to this rotation emf will generate in the generator armature so that generated emf power at the armature pa can be eg into ia eg is the generated emf and ia is the current flowing through the armature okay the equation for the output of the prime mover can be 2 pi n into t in okay when the electrical power generated at the armature we will not get at the output we will not get the entire generated energy at the armature due to some losses that can be you can see here the energy is generated here due to the resistance of the armature we can see ra will represents the resistance of the armature and ia be the current flowing through the armature so due to the resistance of the armature field windings 
some losses will occur there that can be ia square ra that is armature copper losses in addition to these losses we can see here a shunt generator so shunt field due to the flow of current through the shunt field shunt field losses will occur there so ish square rsh will occur when the when this this these two losses will occur only after the when the emf generated in the armature so copper losses copper losses is also known as load losses this copper losses includes both losses in the armature field winding also losses in the shunt field winding also and then th the remaining current will flows or we will get the remaining current as the load current at the load output okay so the generated emf or the electrical power output can be p out can be v into il v is the terminal voltage and il is the load current okay these are the major power stages in dc generator so we will get the mechanical energy into electrical energy at the output and during this energy conversion stage certain losses will occur there at the stage of developing electrical power in the armature iron losses that is eddy current and hysteresis losses and frictional windage losses collectively known as mechanical losses these losses will occur at the stage of developing electrical power at the generator and then after when the emf generated then current will flows through the armature and due to this copper losses will occur there copper losses will occur in the field winding armature field winding and also in the shunt field winding so we will get a reduced output power that is v into il so this is the power stage for a dc generator okay this can be called as power flow diagram for a dc generator based on this power stages we can calculate different stages of efficiencies for a dc generator okay so the efficiency of dc generator efficiency of dc generator we know that first stage mechanical power is converted into electrical energy at the armature along with this losses so we can say that this conversion stage some energy will lose and at the efficiency at this stage can be mechanical efficiency so we can write the mechanical efficiency there may be three efficiencies the first efficiency can be mechanical efficiency okay this mechanical efficiency can be the ratio between or it is the ratio of electrical power developed in the armature to the mechanical power which is given to the generator so we can write it here mechanical efficiency is equal to electrical power developed uh -huh. 
divided by mechanical input. Mechanical input. Electrical power developed, we can write it on the basis of equation that is Eg into Ia. Eg into Ia is the electrical energy developed at the armature or electrical power developed in the armature. Divided by mechanical input. Mechanical input can be 2 pi n into Ta. Okay. 2 pi n into T in. Okay. This is the mechanical efficiency. Or simply we can write the mechanical efficiency is the ratio of B divided by A. Here B represents the electrical power developing developed and A is the mechanical power given to the rotor along with those losses. So this mechanical efficiency includes this rotating losses. Hence we can call it as mechanical efficiency. Okay. The next efficiency stage can be at this stage due to the presence of this constant losses so efficiency will reduced at this stage due to these losses at the output okay so this can be the ratio of electrical efficiency okay the next efficiency can be electrical efficiency Electrical efficiency can be the ratio of electrical power output divided by electrical power developed. Okay. Electrical power at the output divided by electrical power developed that can be equal to electrical power at the output can be V into IL divided by electrical power developed in the armature is EG into IA so this is the electrical efficiency the name electrical efficiency is we can use here because it includes current that is IA square RA and ISH square RSH. Hence, we can call it as electrical efficiency. And the third category of efficiency in DC generator is overall efficiency or commercial efficiency. That can be the ratio of the electrical power output to the mechanical power which is given. So, C divided by E. The third efficiency is overall efficiency. Or commercial efficiency. That is equal to electrical power at the output. divided by mechanical power which is given okay electrical power output is v into il divided by mechanical power at the input that can be 2 pi n into t in here n is the rotation of the rotor and t is the torque developed at the prime over t in okay these are the major terms and these are the three efficiencies of dc generator okay based on this overall efficiency we can write the efficiency as 
the overall efficiency can be output divided by input because for DC generators the output is here electrical power output and the input is mechanical power so output by input and the numerator and denominator can represent based on the output terms and also based on the input terms so the output can write in terms of input then the output will become input minus losses divided by input so 1 minus losses by input This equation is very important for technical exam point of view. Okay. And based on this, we can again write efficiency as output by input. And next, here we can write the equation, overall equation in terms of outputs. So then we will get output divided by input includes both output plus losses so input can be output plus losses so we will get 1 plus output by losses this equation is also very important for calculating the efficiency for technical exams not only in technical exams every exams we can use so this is the equation to find out the efficiency okay before going to the next portion these losses what are the losses these losses that losses includes The losses can be I A square R A loss and voltage drop V L into I L plus W C. What is this W C? That is nothing but constant loss. Okay. W C is constant loss. So, constant loss includes stray losses and shunt field copper losses. Okay, these are the major losses that we can consider for calculation purpose okay and based on this we can write condition for maximum efficiency okay condition for maximum efficiency what is the condition for maximum efficiency that is nothing but at maximum efficiency variable losses must be equal to constant losses so variable losses must be equal to constant losses we know that for DC shunt gener generators the variable losses can be R major copper loss that is I A square R A must be equal to constant loss that can be written as W C. So from here we can write R major current corresponding to maximum efficiency can be root of this W C divided by R A. This is one of the important relation regarding with the constant loss and R major current very important for exam point of view technical exam point of view okay 
and based on this concepts we can do a problem I think you can see the problem here a 10 kW 250 volt DC shunt generator has total no load rotational losses of 400 watts the armature resistance it is resistance okay armature resistance including brushes and shunt field resistance are 0.5 ohm and 250 ohm respectively then calculate the shaft power input and efficiency at rated load also calculate the maximum efficiency and the corresponding power outputs okay before going to do this problem we can write what are the given datas gd given datas the output power 10 kw at a rated load is given here so output power at rated load is given that is 10 kw that is 10,000 watts the next is terminal voltage VL is given here so V or VL is equal to 250 volt and decision in a total no load rotational losses so rotational losses can be 400 watts Four hundred watts, and armature resistance and shunt field resistance. Okay, armature resistance can be R A is equal to zero point five ohm, and shunt field resistance two fifty ohm. That is R S H can be two fifty ohm. I think these are the parameters which are directly given directly given in this problem okay yes so these are the given datas and we have to calculate the shaft power input and efficiency at rated load okay at rated load we can calculate the efficiency shaft power input and efficiency for this we must know the total losses in this generator here the generator given is shunt generator so first we have to calculate the total losses that includes both constant losses and armature losses so we can calculate it so from this data we can calculate first shunt field current that is is it okay shunt field current ish that is terminal voltage v divided by r rsh here the rsh is 250 volt So terminal voltage is also 250 so 250 divided by 250 then we will get the shunt field current as 1 ampere shunt field current as 1 ampere. And by using these data, we can calculate the constant losses. Okay, 
constant losses constant loss includes both shunt field losses and rotational losses okay shunt field losses and rotational losses so shunt field losses can be calculate vl into il vl is 250 il is we calculated that here sorry il or is it that is 1 ampere so 250 into 1 that is shunt field losses plus rotational losses is already given here that is 400 watts so we can write it here as 250 into 1 plus 400 so that is 650 watts 650 watts that is the constant losses for this problem so based on this constant losses we can okay based on these details we can calculate the load current okay the load current il that can be il that is the output current at a rated load output current at rated load that is il il can be calculated by using the output at rated load is given that is 10000 so 10000 divided by terminal voltage so we will get it as 40 ampere that is the 40 ampere is the load current okay based on this load current and the shunt field currents we can calc based on these two currents we can calculate ia ia is nothing but the sum of load current and shunt field current that is il plus ish il is 40 ampere plus ish is 1 ampere here so we will get ia as 41 ampere okay ia is 41 ampere so we can calculate armature copper loss based on this armature copper loss armature copper loss can be equal to ia square ra ia is here it is 41 ampere so 41 square into ra ra is already given in the question that is 0 0.0 0.5 again okay. so ia square into 0 0.5 okay in calculation we will get it as 840 watts okay 840 is the total armature losses so based on this we can calculate the first question that is shaft power input so shaft power input includes both shaft output power at a rated load plus these losses so the output at the shaft at a rated load is 10 kW so we can calculate first part that is shaft power input shaft power input shaft power input can be equal to 
output plus losses here the output is nothing but 10,000 plus losses we know that constant losses is 650 and armature copper loss is 840 so total losses losses can be equal to constant losses plus armature copper losses constant losses is 650 watts so 650 plus armature copper loss is 840 here 650 plus 840 that is 1490 1490 okay that is the losses in this cases so we can add the loss here so we will get the shaft power input that is 11490 watts 11490 watts add this losses with the shaft output power so this is the shaft power input that is output plus losses and based on this we can calculate the efficiency at rated load at rated load can be equal to 1 minus losses by input we can use other equation also here already we calculated the shaft power input so it is very easy to find out so 1 minus losses by input that is 1 minus losses is 1490 and divided by input that is 11490 so after calculation we will get zero point eight seven zero two into hundred then we will get eighty seven point zero two is the efficiency at a rated load okay that is the that was the first question calculate the shaft power input and efficiency at rated load also we can calculate the maximum efficiency and the corresponding power output okay if we want to calculate the maximum efficiency then copper lo iron, uh, variable losses must be equal to constant losses that is the condition for maximum efficiency so we can write it here second part maximum efficiency will occurs when variable losses become equal to constant losses we know that here constant losses is 650 watts so total losses at maximum efficiency will be will be the sum of these variable losses and constant losses that is 650 plus 650 can be so that is 1300 watts that can be the total losses at 
occurs at maximum efficiency okay and based on this we can calculate the armature current at maximum efficiency already we know that ia square ra variable losses is equal to 650 at maximum efficiency and based on this we can calculate the armature current corresponding with maximum efficiency that is 650 root of 650 divided by ra ra is already given that is 0 0.5 so on calculation we will get it as 36 ampere okay so 36 ampere is the armature current occurs at maximum efficiency and based on these concepts we can calculate the load current that is il is ia minus ish because we know that armature current will be the sum of load current plus the shunt, shunt field current that is ish so we can calculate il from this ia minus ish so we know that ia is 36 ampere because at maximum efficiency the variable losses will vary when we compare it with the rated load so ia in this case at maximum efficiency ia will be 36 shunt field current or shunt field losses are constant for for shunt generator so ish will be What is the value of ISH? That is 1 ampere. Okay. ISH is equal to 1 ampere already. At first, we calculated that. So, we will get IL as 36 minus 1. That is 35 ampere. That is the load current. So, we can calculate the output power. Output power at maximum efficiency that is il into terminal voltage v that is 250 that is il is 35 and terminal voltage that is 250 and based on the calculation we will get it as 35 into 250 8750 watts this will be the output power occurs at maximum efficiency okay and the based on these concepts we can calculate the generated input power input power generated input power is generator input power is nothing but output plus losses output is 8750 8750 plus losses is total losses occurs at maximum efficiency is nothing but the sum of variable losses plus constant losses that is 1300 watts so 8750 plus 1300 then we will get 1300. okay this will be the generated input power for power occurs at maximum efficiency okay and based on this we can just calculate the efficiency that will be 1 minus losses by input that is 1 minus losses is this one will be the losses and the input is this so we will get So, 87.07 will be the maximum efficiency. Okay, already, so we calculated 
this problem shaft power input and efficiency at right at load and maximum efficiency and corresponding maximum corresponding power output at maximum efficiency okay these are the major things which is very important for dc generator calculation purpose oh, so in this video we studied the power stages and different types of efficiencies and based on these things we calculated a problem okay thank you